Today on Rustbelt Airgun, I'm going to review the Daisy Powerline 5501 air pistol. The model 5501 is a, a semi-auto air pistol with blowback action. It is powered by a 12 gram CO2 cartridge housed in the grip. This air pistol shoots .177 caliber BBs only, no pellets. There is a 15 shot clip also housed in the grip. The Model 5501 can shoot BBs up to a velocity of 430 FPS through its smooth bore barrel. It has fixed front and rear sights. There's an accessory rail so you can mount a laser sight. Its slide and receiver are metal, giving it a hefty weight of 1 pound or 453 grams. The safety is on the side of the air pistol above the trigger. Point the 5501 in a safe direction. To engage the safety, slide the safety back so that the red dot and letter F is covered. To disengage the safety, slide the safety forward so the F and red dot can be seen. Engage the safety. Press the clip release button. The clip will follow the bottom of the grip. Remove the grip cover. Turn the puncture uh, screw counterclockwise. Put a drop of Pelgun oil or RWS chamber lube on the tip of the CO2 cartridge. Insert the CO2 cartridge tip up into the grip. Turn the puncture screw clockwise until you hear the hiss of the CO2 entering the air pistol. Install the grip cover. Install the clip. Disengage the safety when ready to fire. Engage the safety. Press the clip release button. The clip will follow the bottom of the grip. Install the clip cap included with the air pistol. Pull back the BB follower. and lock in the notch. Insert 15 BBs into the loading port. Slowly release the BB follower. Remove the clip cap. Install the clip into the hand grip. Just in case of safety when ready to fire. Engage the safety. Pull back then forward and you'll see a horizontal red bar when the 5501 is cocked. In order to decock, slide the decocking button forward. When the last BB has fired, the slide will remain locked in the back position. Pushing the slide release button will release the slide. It would have been nice if the 5501 also had painted white dots on the rear sights. This can be easily remedied using any white enamel hobby paint. Also notice the red horizontal bar indicates this 5501 is currently cocked. You must cock the 5501 after a new CO2 cartridge has been installed. Trigger pull is light and consistent throughout the motion.
accuracy of the 5501 is fairly good for a smoothbore air pistol, I was able to get all six shots within an inch diameter of the target. The Daisy Model 5501 is a lot of air pistol for the price. Its closest competitor with blowback action is the CM9B Mako by Crossman. I love the look and feel of the 5501's chrome plated frame with blacked out slide. Plus, its hefty weight adds to the realism of a real firearm. Accuracy of the 5501 is fairly good for a smooth bore air pistol. Due to the realism of the 5501, it can be used for holster training and target accuracy practice. Please like this post and subscribe to Rust Belt Airgun so that you're alerted to my future posts. Thank you.